Coach, can you just start out by talking about so far your experience here in Columbus? You guys have been down here for almost a day now, and just talk me through kind of how the girls are having fun and what they're doing and what it's been like so far. Well, one of our hopes coming here was, you know, Columbus is a city we're all very familiar with. Ohio Dominicans, a school that we play at every year, have, you know, being in our league. And so we wanted to make sure that they they knew they were at the Elite Eight, you know, that we weren't just in Columbus, Ohio, that we were at the Elite Eight. And they, they've done that really well. And I give credit to the NCAA and, and Ohio Dominican, and the greater Sports Columbus, I'm not sure I'm, I'm referencing that right, but they've made this uh, event feel very elite and special. And I think our team is very much soaking that in. Um, you know, you earn your right to be here, and uh, I want them to enjoy it, obviously still with, with a, the task at hand in mind. Out of the eight teams that are here at the Elite Eight, you're the only team that has actually played in this gymnasium before this season. So what does that do for your team as far as getting accustomed to playing here on this floor? You hope it's a you hope it's an advantage, you know, that there, there's a comfortability and a confidence that, that goes with that. But at the same time, I, everyone here is really good. You know, you don't just magically land in the Elite Eight. You've strung together a lot of a lot of great wins over the course of the season. And so ultimately, it's who's going to bring it. You know, that, that's going to be who's got fight, who's going to battle. Th those are the things that are going to matter the most. But the familiarity of this school, you know, we hope, we hope can be an advantage for our team. You've had over a week off now to prepare for this game against West Texas A&M. What are some of the things that you and your team are have been working on over the past week? Well, we needed to rest. You know, the, the regional tournament, it's its the, uh, you're right in the center of March Madness. You know, it's game after game and a lot of adrenaline and energy and competitive that competitiveness that goes into that. So we needed to rest both mentally and physically. And then we had enough time also to, to get sharp again and, and make sure that we're that fine line between competitive and, and rested. And West Texas presents a, a very different team than what we've seen um, really this whole year. So we, we had to make sure that not only are we doing what we do well, even better, but that we are prepared uh, for West Texas. What are some of the things that West Texas does very well that's different than what you've seen all season? Well, I mean, they're second in the country in field goal percentage. They score a ton of points in the paint. They're very big. Uh, they post up a lot of people. They, they run a lot of a lot of different sets, and they run them well. And they play all 2-3 zone. You know, there, there's no one in our league that, that plays 2-3 zone on every possession. Uh, so, so those are things that, that are unique, and those are things that, that have helped West Texas be here. You know, those are things they do well. What are some of your final thoughts going into the game tomorrow that you're telling your team in the locker room to get them ready for this big stage? At this point in the season, you've got to do what you do well, and you need to do it exceptionally well. You know, our hope is let's make this our best game of the season. Let's play our best. Let's put together our best 40 minutes, and, and by doing what we do and doing it at a really, really high level, and, and everyone being bought into that. Um, you know, at this time of the year, that that's what I, that's my hope for our team. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Don.